A very good day to all of you. In the lesson today, we are going to talk about another important topic in reading skills, which is identifying main ideas and supporting details. The ability to identify main ideas and supporting details in a reading text, like in a journal article, in um, magazine articles, in websites, uh, articles in a book, is very important because it will help us to quickly identify the important information that we need for example uh, if let's say we are doing our assignments a written assignment or we need to prepare for a presentation so by being able to quickly identify the main ideas that we need to use in our presentation and in our written assignment um, we can do the job quickly without wasting a lot of time read reading every single word and every single page um, by being able to identify the supporting details we can get all um, the factual information such as statistics uh, numbers percentage examples also quickly without uh, having to waste time uh, reading every single word and every single sentence so by being able to identify main ideas and supporting details we can understand um, a reading text and article better quicker and we can save our time when doing or looking for information uh, for the use of our uh, assessments and presentations the other reason why we have to be able to identify main ideas and supporting details is because um, it is because uh, we want to be a literate reader we want to be a critical reader so we do not just want to accept what the author of the article wants to tell us but we want to think on ourselves uh, we cannot just simply uh, read and accept what is being told but we want uh, to be independent to think whether what is being told is correct or incorrect is acceptable or not acceptable so that we will not be cheated by people easily so that we will not be cheated and manipulated by um, the author of the article easily so we can think on our own by uh, having the knowledge of how to identify main ideas and supporting details so first we are going to look into identifying main ideas there are um, three things that we need to take note when we are identifying main ideas in a paragraph or in a reading text the first thing that we need to do is we need to identify the topic of the text or the topic of the paragraph um, this is quite easy because uh, normally a uh, reading text or, par um, or um, an article will have a topic um, the the heading so that is the topic uh, secondly we need to identify the stated main idea so what is stated what the author states um what the author what the author states in the article telling the purpose of the author writing that article so that is the stated main idea it is normally in a sentence of course and the third thing is identify the implied main idea so implied main idea is just the opposite of stated main idea if stated main idea is what the author writes if is what the author states in the article in the writing in a sentence uh, the purpose of the author writing that article the purpose of the article what the article is all about implied main idea is not mentioned in the article so we will have to think what is the indirect what is the indirect um, agenda or reason the author writes the article so it is the hidden the hidden agenda the hidden purpose or the hidden reason the author writes the article that we'll have to imply we'll have to think critically so it is not stated
So let us take a look at how to identify the topics of a paragraph or, or an article or a reading text. Um, this is an example. Um, the topic is debate over gun control in the US. So this is quite easy because the topic is given in a heading like this. So the topic is debate over gun control in the US. So once we have identified the topic, um, this gives us a general idea of, of what the paragraph or the article is all about. Then once we know what the topic is, then we can talk about, we can try to identify the stated main idea and the implied main idea. But not all paragraphs, not all articles, they have their own um, topic in a heading like this. For example, um, this paragraph um the topic is bold so the word is bold like this so um easily we can know that this paragraph talks about diabetes so first before we um the first step to understand a paragraph or an article is by knowing what the topic is because that will help us to know um generally uh, what the paragraph is talking about um, sometimes um, there is no indication uh, bold words and topic heading like this uh, but uh, we can still um, identify the topic of the paragraph or the article by looking for repetitive words like this so some paragraphs some articles uh, when they have no headings or subheadings or bold words they have repetitive words so this would suggest that this is the topic of the paragraph or the article so in this case the topic is homeschooling and the paragraph or the article is talking about um, homeschooling so that is how we identify the topic of a paragraph or an article now that we have identified the topic of the paragraph or the article we can proceed with identifying the stated main idea so there are two types of main ideas one is stated one is implied so stated and implied are the opposite so stated main idea again means what the author states the purpose of the article is or the reason the author writes the article that is stated in the article or in the paragraph implied it is not stated it is not written there so it has to be in a sentence so when um, people ask you what is the mean i what is the stated main idea of this paragraph so you don't say the stated main idea is diabetes so that is the topic a uh, stated main idea has to be in a sentence um, so the stated main idea of this passage is that um, diabetes is a disorder in which the body is not able to produce or use insulin as it should and the stated main idea of this paragraph is that homeschooling is on the rise and today more than 2 million children are taught at home or you can also use your own words you can say the stated main idea is homeschooling is getting more and more popular nowadays so the topic is homeschooling and the stated main idea is homeschooling is getting more and more popular now nowadays the topic is diabetes for this paragraph and the stated main idea is that um, diabetes is a type of health problem or disorder where the body is not able to discrete or produce insulin as a normal, normal body would and the same goes to this paragraph so um, the topic is debate over gun control in the US and the stated main idea is that what about the debate so the debate over gun control in the US has been a topic has been a topic of debate or contention for the past 10 years so that is the issue that is what the author wants to talk about in this paragraph that the author states 
um, clearly that uh, the stated main idea is the debate over gun control in the US has been a topic of debate for the past 10 years. So the stated main idea can be anywhere in the paragraph or in the article. So you'll have to identify what you think would be the stated main idea of a paragraph or an article. So, um, it is now time to identify the implied mean idea. Um, the implied mean idea is the opposite of stated mean idea and it is not clearly or directly stated in any one sentence in the paragraph or in the text or in the article. Um, so, it is only suggested or inferred by the author. So sometimes, uh, so the implied main idea is the hidden thing, the hidden point that the author wants to tell the readers without telling it directly for, for many reasons, especially in a political article. So they don't say directly because they might be sued by the politicians, but they make things, they tell things indirectly. So people, when people read, people can understand that this is actually what the author wants to tell. Uh, readers have to read the entire paragraph and examine individual details to see how they relate to the common thread. So that means you'll have to read everything to understand what the implied main idea is. So you can um, pause this video and read this paragraph and try to decide what is the indirect point that <laughs> the author wants to tell by writing this paragraph. So what can you infer? So we can say that indirectly, this paragraph, in this paragraph, the author wants to tell us that um, the sale gun, the sale of guns must be closely monitored to prevent the arbitrary and the senseless loss of innocent lives. So that means uh, the government has to really think about um, controlling the sales, the selling of guns in the United States uh, to avoid more people being killed. It is not directly mentioned here in this paragraph, but it says a lot of people are dead because of um, people being shot, um, a lot of uh, criminals uh, using guns and killing people. Um, and then the debate has been going on for many years. So what the author is trying to imply that the government has to take an action, um, control the sale of guns to avoid many people being killed. So that is uh, the implied. What is what the author is trying to tell without um, telling it di directly here in this paragraph. What about um, the second paragraph? Can you pause the video and think what is the implied main idea of this paragraph? So we know that the topic of this uh, paragraph is diabetes and the stated main idea is that diabetes is a type of disorder, health problem, where the body cannot produce insulin but the uh, the implied main idea is that the author of this paragraph is trying uh, to tell us we can guess that he or she is trying to tell us that um, diabetes is a life-threatening disease that must be taken seriously because statistics shows that um, 17 million people suffer from diabetes and 5.9 million people are unaware. They do not know that they have diabetes. So this is what we can imply. So the reason why this uh, paragraph or the article is written by the author is that um, he or she is trying to tell us that diabetes is a life-threatening disease that must be taken seriously. So the same goes to the third paragraph. We know that the topic is homeschooling and we know that the stated main idea is that homeschooling is getting more and more popular nowadays. But what is uh, implied here, but not stated, we, what we call as the implied main idea is that um, 
when we read the whole paragraph, we know that uh, not many people agree with the idea of homeschooling. Uh, so those are some examples of um, how we can identify main ideas by doing these three things which is first identify the topic then identify the stated main idea followed by identify the implied main idea so let us check out one example of uh, an article and try to um, look for the topic the stated main idea and the implied main idea so this is an article from the website nationalgeographic.com and the title is uh, the pandemic pushed cars out of this historic scottish city um, so the city is edinburgh so uh, that is the um, so that is the topic so the topic of this article is pandemic pushed cars out of this historic Scottish city. So we know that uh, by knowing the topic, we know that it is all about the pandemic and also uh, the availability of cars and other transportation in the city. So the stated main idea is um, that if we take a look at um, this article, we would know that um, this could actually be the stated main idea uh, what the author wants to tell in this um, article um, so the stated main idea is that um, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused the prettiest streets in Edinburgh to be closed down to motorized traffic so that means um, that is the stated main idea so um, this article is going to talk about how the pandemic has caused uh, the roads to be empty in uh, streets in Edinburgh and also in other places under the UNESCO sites um, so if we so that is the stated main idea what this uh, article is talking about uh, the pandemic has caused um, the streets to be empty of cars and other transportation. Um, if we go through the article, we can see that the implied main idea is that uh, the article has actually talked um, negatively about many cars on the route because it will affect the life of the livelihood of the people in the town and um, the article actually gives us uh, um, uh, an idea that the pandemic is actually doing us a good thing by keeping the cars away from the route so that um, the the air and the environment will be more natural and will be more fresh uh, will be fresher so for example if we can see here um, Edinburgh's all and new towns help the city attract 5 million visitors annually and there is this festival brings 2 million people uh, annually and such popularity brings an injection of energy and economic benefits because a lot of people going to Edinburgh because of um, it's uh, the town of heritage under United Nations and because of this festi festival however with a resident population of just 226 million people the heavy the many the the great number of visitors make the cities in a core one of the worst hotspots for over tourism globally so because there are too many tourists it has become uh, what we call as over tourism so it is bad for the city um, so it because the city it caused the city to be um, polluted over traffic um, so a lot of bad things happening so actually uh, this article is giving an idea that the pandemic is actually doing a good thing to the city keeping uh, the cars and the visitors away and make the city more um, a better place to live so by going through this article we can see that um, um, the implied um, the implied main idea 
is uh, too many cars on the road will make um, a um, tourism city, a tourism place, uh, not livable. And we should actually think about um, um, keeping away uh, transportations from streets, especially um, tourist places. So that will be more livable and a better place for tourism. So that would be the implied main idea. Let us take a look at one last example of an article. See, this is a local article on and the topic is political parties exist to serve people. Um, so this is the topic. So we know that um, this, um, um, this article is talking about political parties, politicians. And also if we can see the word COVID-19 and pandemic is repetitively um, repeated in this article so it talks about politicians and the COVID-19 situation um, what is the stated main idea now that we know the topic what is the stated main idea so we can see here the stated main idea is that uh, politicians should focus on the efforts on national reconciliation so this is uh, the stated main idea or you can take the whole sentence uh, there is a call for political ceasefire amidst COVID-19 pandemic and politicians should focus on the people instead of on politics so that is what the stated main idea is what um, um, the, the purpose of this article telling uh, politicians to stop polit uh, politicking and uh, focus more on the people so if you go through the article you would see that um, it is giving us an idea that uh, politicians are are selfish because um, if you can see from the sentences given in this article it says that it is vital for political parties to come to their senses uh, to think logically on why they are here which is to serve the people and not to seize power at all costs not to fight for power so the blame game they are blaming each other and then um, and there are other things that they do um, taking advantage of the situation to gain uh, support and then um, so this gives an idea that uh, the implied idea that uh, politicians are selfish they don't really think for the people but they actually think only uh, on how to actually gain power to control um, the country um, so and it ends with political parties exist to serve people and not itself so the implied main idea is that um, politicians don't really do what they are supposed to do which is to serve the people instead they are being um, selfish and focus on only uh, grabbing power but not serving serving the people so that is all about identifying main ideas and in next lesson we are going to talk about how to identify the main detail uh, the supporting details